I'm going to show you how I made this pot holder slash washcloth. It's a stockinette stitch with a seed stitch border. The finished measurement is approximately 8 by 8. And the thing to remember is that you should knit as tight as possible and always use cotton because it's going to get wet. And the more you wet it, the tighter it's going to get, which is good. So basically, you're going to cast on 30 stitches and you're going to do the seed stitch for four rows. Now after you cast on with the tail, you want to use the tail to weave the yarn in as usual. So then you're going to place a marker at four stitches and four stitches. So you're going to just knit the first four stitches in seed stitch, knit, purl, knit, purl, and then knit across, and then knit, purl, knit, purl. And then when you turn the work around, you do the opposite, purl, knit, purl, knit, and purl across, purl, knit, purl, knit, and you just keep doing that for about, oh, I would say um, seven, yeah, seven inches. And then you're going to repeat until you get to that point, and then you're going to do four more rows at the top in seed stitch and bind off. Cut the yarn, and when you have that tail left, you're going to have to weave that in either with a darning needle or a crochet hook. And it's really simple. These make wonderful, wonderful gifts for uh, if you're going to a house to give to someone as a house gift. Um, just in general, nice to have around, easy, quick way to learn how to do the seed stitch. You could do this same thing in a scarf and just keep going up and up and up. But anyway, give this a try and um, like me and subscribe and comments, etc. And until next time, happy knitting everyone!